Welcome! It's time for a new Pro League Breakdown, where I will show you the strats and the plays that the real pros use that you can start using yourself. In today's video, I will show you an excellent defensive setup from BRK Esports against Rogue from the quarterfinals during the Pro League Finals that took place during the Gamescom in Germany. As always, first I will show you the round as it happened with footage from the live broadcast of the game and after that I will jump into the game and the tactical whiteboard to break it down to show you why and how BRK set up their defense and how Rogue tried to counter it. Let's watch the round. Yeah, well, you're not only limiting your line of sight, but you're also limiting, like, what you can get into. So, like, with a Habana, you can't open Snowmobile and the main wall of A and the closet. With a Habana and a Thermite, you've got all of those open. <laughs> and once you get all of those open, there's nowhere for BRK to hide. But in this instance, eh, no Thermite. So you, no. Can, you could do one open and one visible. Yeah, the one... If they do try to push Snowmobile Garage, the one strategy that I have seen work is they open up the garage at a head level, keep a Blackbeard out there, not necessarily to go into garage, but to basically clear right. out garage. You then open up bar, and then you try to push in through back hallway. So BRK, by the way, has effectively nullified the lack of a Thermite as a bad thing by opening up that closet uh, wall. Now there's two different, yeah, obviously some teams choose to open up the closet, some choose to fully reinforce it. The reason you would open it is because Zig, as you can see, Zig is using the primary shotgun on Echo. He can hold that oh so easily with an Echo drone and a shotgun. He's got everything in his favor. Peeking around that corner with the, with the very, like even a millisecond of Peeker's advantage is going to allow him to get this simple one-tap kill mm -hmm. with that shotgun. So, uh, Rogue looking like they're pushing in very whoa. fast. Flash already on the back hallway here. All the way in the blue in, in the first 40 seconds. Oh, too quick though. Nesk already looking around and expecting it because he knows that there's no pressure from outside garage. So where else is he going to look? That back corridor. Right. And I think, it, honestly, he probably heard it. Uh, Slash did not, uh, he was not very quiet in his push into blue. Yeah, in all honesty, I would have held off. I would have maintained control of that back hallway and then waited for oh, the, the drop Oh, cam to too. It could have been that one of the defenders was on that cam and ready for that rush. So we are going to have Rogue pushing into the top floor. Once they have top floor control, they can start working on mid floor control. Once they have mid floor control, they can start working on taking the bomb site. Now, maybe what it was, and I don't necessarily think this is exactly it, but maybe what it was, a slash pushes in very quickly, shows the vulnerabilities, and gets BRK to collapse back onto site, because they are all back on site now. There are no roamers. There's three BRK players inside Connector, and Connector's just been opened, which means they're going to kind of scatter, which means that, oh, they're focused entirely on the A bomb site. If, if Rogue sees that there are three on the A bomb site, they'll just go for B, and it's a really simple attack. Mm -hmm. You can see Young, he's inside of the master bedroom, uh, uh, class, or sorry, master bedroom uh, bathroom. He is denying that rotation through the west stairs. Now, Eclipse is trying to look for shots there on the Nest, who's by the garbage cans. It looks like Nest, oh, Nest actually gets seen inside a connector, and he will be tagged, but not finished off. So I like this strategy from Rogue. They're actually utilizing the vertical game that we don't see very often utilized on, their ba on the basement hole. There it is, wonderful shot by Eclipse. Takes out Nesk, B site is all clear now for the time being, and that means we might see a back hallway plant. Looks like some shots coming on. Oh, oh, oh he actually got him injured up top. Yuke's gonna beak and go forward with that as Eclipse is now gonna try to come in through connector. So One moves on forward, grabs that shot there onto Avian, and that's gonna make it a three on four. Two on four with Young being injured. 20 seconds to go. We are going to see Eclipse now look around. He's going to have to drop here, but it is instantly down in the process. Last minute live is going to be King George in a one on three. He falls to the same fate as Yuke picks up a double K. Pretty impressive round there by BRK. And if you look at the tactical whiteboard, this was basically the setup that they used. They have Echo here. This was reinforced. Number one and two here is the mirror windows. You have both windows here. He have reinforced the closest wall and have this one open so you can easily control this because he has a shotgun so if they try to challenge him on this short angle he will win that engagement and also since he have his drone he have total control here and okay he can also hear them in the barbed wire and then they have opened up the walls here which make it coming from this side from the garage here to pushing wine is very hard because with these two mirror windows here, 
you will get shot. It's a very hard engagement to win. And same time, if they come this way, Echo will just finish them off. Then they also had Valkyrie back here and Mira is still not available in the Detective Whiteboard, so she says recruit icon, but this was Mira. So they were playing in the, a lot in the connector, but after that it was open up, they spread out, and you had Jaeger back here behind the snowmobile. And as you can see, they also had a lot of barbed wire both in the stairs, back hallway, here to Echo, and in this doorway. We move up, they also reinforce the hatches, and then they have Bandit who was roaming, he was starting up here in the office. But he made his way down to the objective and when he went down to the objective they all five were down there and that was all part of rogue's plan as they wanted to trap them there to control the two top floors so they can start establishing the vertical play opening up the floor so they can get a line of sight into the objective open up the hatches making it hard for defenders to sit inside the objective and at the same time they were trying to control the staircases so that the defenders couldn't rotate up and flank them you can see up here, Young was sitting with Buck, he had opened up the floor and was aiming down towards the staircase. And usually when you have this angle you're going to win that engagement, you're gonna take that defender out. But this time he lost this engagement, so as the bandit rotated up, it forced the attackers who was playing the vertical game to quickly try to enter the objective since they knew that they were gonna get pressured soon and flanked. And Bandit actually made it up in time, so he injured Sledge on his way down and forced Blackbeard to jump down a lot faster and not as planned as he had wanted and he just got killed off easily by Valkyrie who was waiting for him. So this was an extremely well coordinated defense, I just love the setup they have and wind towards the garage here, making it very hard for them to come here with the Echo Drone in the corridor and double mirror windows. At the same time, they would have been a bit more vulnerable if they had opened up the garage port. But this didn't happen, and another big mistake was from Jung to lose that engagement to let the bandit rotate up. Also, as you can see here, they had some pretty smart rotation holes, so they can easily go between the sides without exposing themselves too much and without being predicted by the attackers exactly where they will pop up. What do you think about this defensive setup from BRK and how Rogue tried to counter it? What would you have done differently if you were any of the teams? Let me know down in the comments and if you like this video I would really appreciate if you left a like and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe for even more videos just like this one. I will see you next time.